Oh my goodness. A hundred dollars? That's a big difference. That's right. What's up? All right. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, give it a thumbs up, man. It's gonna be flames, bro. It's gonna be fire. So, I already like it. We have a couple, a couple of dope gaming news items for this video. The first one is this right here the twin towers of greatness, of awesomeness, of epicness. I've got me a PlayStation 5. <laughs> Let's see what Microsoft shows in July. But I've got a PlayStation 5. But, bro, the price difference between the digital and physical, not digital and physical, they're both physical, but all digital version without a disc and the PlayStation 5 that's coming with the Blu ray, DVD, whatever it is, this drive. The price difference could be larger than we thought. According to a Nielsen survey, they're listing the price gap between the PlayStation with the physical disk drive and the all digital one. The price gap is $100, a $100 difference between the two consoles. And the price point is a little bit more aggressive than I thought Sony was going to do. They're listing the physical PS5 for $436 and the all digital one for $323. That's going to, I think it's going to come out to about $450 and $350 respectively, which is more surprising than I thought. There's the physical version. I'm leaning towards a digital. If it's a hundred dollar difference, I might just get the all digital, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it up. I don't know. I might just still get the physical. I don't know, but I'm getting a PlayStation 5. I go all digital with my games anyway. But I was thinking maybe just they was just gonna do a fifty dollar price point. Um, because it's, that's probably how much it costs to have that extra um, drive on the PS5. But it looks like Sony's going to be a little bit more aggressive with the PlayStation 5 price than we thought. Now, I think Sony may have learned their lesson with the PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, the standard edition launched at $600, bro. <coughs> and that was um, Sony's worst selling console. 80 million sold. Still, <laughs> I know Nintendo would take that. But... It still was, um, um, uh, it wasn't received too well by fans. They changed it with the PlayStation 4, a powerful console at $399. PlayStation 5 might be closer to um, consumer a consumer-friendly price point than we originally thought because Sony's executives were talking like this thing's going to be expensive. Uh, when they asked about price, they said that we're going to... Um, um, emphasize value over price meaning that it might be expensive but you're going to enjoy it and you're gonna be like wow I'm telling you I'm probably I'm gonna buy everything I love. I'll buy the headset the the good the uh, remote I'm gonna get two dual sense controllers and an HD camera <laughs> we gotta be lit bro we gotta be ready for the launch of the PS5 I'm leaning towards going all digital the only reason why I would get physical it's because sometimes games are, it's all around 2K, all around NBA 2K. Sometimes games start releases NBA 2K at 9 o'clock. And if I get at 9 Eastern Standard Time, if I get it digital, <laughs> the game doesn't launch until midnight. So that's the only reason why I would get physical. But uh, let, 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 next news item, we got more news, bro. We got some Nintendo news, bro. Nintendo still make games, bro. A Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 voice actor has said that 
um, his vo the voice acting is done. It's done in the game, indicating the game could be coming out sooner rather than later. What is Nintendo going to do to compete? This what has Nintendo been doing all year, bro? On the Animal Crossing, on the Animal Crossing, and so. It would be cool if we get the Mario remakes and Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, but I'm telling you, man, with console, the con PS5 launching, that's going to be what I'm going to be primarily gaming on this holiday, but, and I'm a big Zelda fan, I played, I've beaten every single Zelda home console game, but, I'm looking more towards, and I know it might be an unpopular opinion, I want to play that Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, that's what I want to play this holiday on a brand new console, little bit more into, oh and NBA 2K21 on oh, the PS5 next gen oh forget about that <laughs> but Zelda Zelda will be ready come holiday 2020 next news item this is pretty big F gameplay footage for Assassin's Creed Valhalla has leaked on the internet this isn't that footage I learned my lesson I am not getting a copyright strike they will strike your channel if you try to play leak footage not even a claim a strike so this is just the trailer that they've already shown but there is footage out in the wild on assassin's creed valhalla i want to see more um gameplay on the game xbox teased us a little bit at their gameplay presentation but this is gonna be i'm a big um assassin's creed fan too I played pretty much all of the games except for I think it was Syndicate, the one in uh, Steampunk um, um, England. That's the only one I haven't um, be played. No, that and Odyssey. I, I didn't get around to Odyssey. I be Origins was the last one I played. But I probably will be picking this up depending on what games launch around the time when Valhalla comes out. Ubisoft's event is July 12th. Um, I think it's called Ubisoft Forward definitely going to be live streaming it can't wait can't wait can't wait and there is another news item for this video <laughs> you thought sony and microsoft were the only consoles launching holiday 2020 well guess what ladies and gentlemen the granddaddy of them all that's right Atari. what hey let me go get my atari This was, man, this thing's so dusty. The very first console I've ever owned. An Atari 7800. I still remember my dad buying this for me and my older brother. Analog sticks before they were analog sticks. I mean, these are still digital, but this was the very first console I owned as a kid. And this was back, um, you could play the Atari 2600 games on the 7800. Pole position? Pole position was that fire. This was actually a pretty good racing game. <coughs> That's dusty. Considering uh, the tank, the pole position was lit. I had Pac-Man. But I like my 7800, bro. And then the NES just took it, took it to another level. But uh, the Atari VCS is scheduled to launch, according to the company, this holiday. They said before December 24th, 2020. And hold your breath. $390. They tripping. <laughs> $390. You want to know what the specs are? It's going to be powered by AMD Ryzen with Radeon graphics technology. Isn't that what the PlayStation 4 currently runs on? It tripping, bro. We are all about that Zen 2 right now, bro. That SSD, bro. No loading times, bro. What exclusive is Atari going to have? Pitfall. E.T. I'm rambling right now. But they should have E.T. as their official mascot, bro. <laughs> That's what caused the video game trash crash because the game was trash. Learn your video game history. All right. Um, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sign off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.
you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi1plays. You'll thank me later. Also, Check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.